There are a lot of great new features in Media Composer 5 in terms of how you work with audio. We'll start by looking at the new Stereo Audio Tracks feature. Now when you add an audio track to Media Composer, you have the option of adding a mono track or a stereo track. You'll notice that the stereo track looks a little different than a mono track and that there are two speaker icons and the track itself is split down the middle to represent the two different channels on the track. Only mono clips can be edited onto mono tracks. Likewise, only stereo clips can be edited onto stereo tracks. So how do you create stereo clips? Well, if you're capturing from tape, you notice that the capture tool has been modified to allow you to pair together tracks 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. But what about if you have music files that you've already imported into the system, such as sound effects or music? Here we have a bin full of music clips as well as different sound effects. Now, I'm not sure which ones are true stereo and which ones are just mono. I'm going to let the system figure that out for us. By selecting all the clips in the bin and right mouse clicking on any one of them, I can choose to modify the clips. The option I'll use for modifying is the Set Multi-Channel Audio option. Here it's going to allow me to pair together tracks 1 and 2 into stereo audio. Notice when I'm done that the tracks that are true stereo now show up as stereo tracks 1 and 2 under the Track Formats column. And the clips that are true mono files stay that way. Now that I've loaded up a stereo clip into my source monitor, you can see it only takes up one track on the source side, and I'll just cut it in to the stereo track on the record side. My name is John, and I'm different than most people here. So very simple to work with stereo audio now in Media Composer 5.0. Probably notice some other subtle changes to the audio tools inside Media Composer. First and foremost, that we no longer have a speaker icon on each track to allow you to mute and unmute a track. Now you can actually solo or mute each individual track. So if I'm done working on track 4 with the music bed, I can just mute that track. My name is John, and I'm different than most people here. I'm a thinker. But that's just the beginning, because now we can actually expand the track control panel to show even more new audio features. For example, I can choose to engage a waveform on each individual track. So rather than painting the entire timeline with all the different waveforms, I can select which tracks I want the waveform on. You can also go in and choose whether or not to show clip gain, auto gain, or auto pan information. Finally, you have the deactivate button, which actually turns off the entire track. So the system isn't using any resources to play it back. I'll do that for our music bed since we're done working with that. Another new audio feature in Media Composer 5.0 is the addition of real-time audio suite plugins. You'll notice that with the audio track control panel expanded, there are five blank boxes on each track. These are inserts where your Artaz plugins go. For example, on this voiceover track, My name is John, and I'm different than most people here. I want to add some reverb. The first thing I'll do is mark off a section of the track that I want to analyze. Next, I'll click on the first insert box on my voiceover track. This brings up the Artaz tool. On each track, I can have up to five different inserts consisting of various real-time audio suite plugins broken down into categories such as dynamics, EQ, reverb, and so on. In this case, I want to add the Dverb plugin to give me that reverb effect. With real-time audio suite plugins, I can analyze and adjust these audio effects during playback. My name is John. 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 Once I'm happy with it, all I have to do is close the plugin tool. My name is John. And I'm different than most people here. I'm a thinker. Now I realize that I might need that same plugin on the natural soundtrack where someone's knocking on the door. Thinker. Rather than recreate that all over again, I can simply option drag a plugin from one track. To another. Or if I want to use this later on in a different project or different sequence, I can save these plugins back to a bin. 